Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to another video and today we are going to be ranking championship home kits for the 2021-2022 season from worst to best. So we're going to start off by ranking the worst kit and then we're going to go down all the way to the best in my opinion. So let's start off with the, in my opinion, worst championship kit. In 24th, and in my opinion, the worst kit in the championship is Middlesbrough. I just don't like the sponsor. It absolutely ruins the kit. Kind of reminds me of a rugby shirt. I don't know why. It just doesn't look like a good football kit. I like the detail in it with the bridge and stuff. But the sponsor completely ruins this, and that's why it's at the bottom. In 23rd place is another kit with the sponsor, 32 Red. I absolutely hate it. It's Derby. I don't like the sleeves either. This is lucky not to be behind Middlesbrough, to be honest. Those two men there probably having to play for Derby this season because they haven't got enough players. So it's not been a good kit ranking for Derby. It's not going to be a good season in real life. So I feel bad for Derby fans. In 22nd and in the final relegation spot is Cardiff. It's just a blue kit. I don't know what it is about this kit, but I just absolutely hate it. I don't know, it just looks like they put no effort in it. They've just got a blue kit, a different shade of blue as well for the Adidas stripes and the collar. And it's just not a nice kit. I don't know what it is about it. I just don't like it. In 21st place, we've got Millwall. This is very harsh, but it's similar to the Newcastle kit. Just below the collar, I don't like that bit. The sponsor's quite big, plus I don't like chocolate, so... I don't like the sponsor. I think the rest of the kit's nice. I like the gold bit on the kit. But that is why it is in 21st place. Probably quite harsh to be fair. In 20th place we've got Fulham. I don't know what it is about Fulham. But every year with their home kits. They seem to disappoint. And they've done it again. I don't know what these like really small black lines are. I just think it ruins it to be honest. It just doesn't really look nice. This probably should be below Millwall, but it isn't. And that's why it's in 20th. I just don't like this kit. In 19th place, we've got Blackburn. I'm just not a fan of this half white, half blue kit, to be honest. I like the detour, the rose flower, or whatever flower it is. And the right, bottom right there, you can see zoomed in. The sponsor, I don't really like. Apart from that, it's not a bad kit, but there's some pretty nice kits in this league, so that's why it's 19th. 18th place is West Brom. I just like it when they just have the normal stripes, not the kit last year. That was just, I don't even know what that was. That was horrific. This, I don't really like either. I like the detail in the blue that you can see some right now. I think that's some sort of charm. The sleeves are alright. Uh, I just don't really like the massive stripes to be honest 17th place is blackpool this is the first kit where i actually don't really hate it i like the sponsor visit blackpool that's good because considering it's a blackpool kit i like the details not too bad probably harsh it's 17th i was going to rank it quite high to be honest but i decided last minute not to but i hope blackpool stay up this season as well so we'll hope they finish roughly where they finish in this kit ranking 16th place is Peerborough. Again, I was going to rank this kit quite high, but at last minute I just changed it back down to 16th. I like, again, how they've gone with something different. These two, like, white lines, they kind of look like car wheels, but I don't mind it. I think it's alright. It's different, but it's going 16th, unfortunately, for them. In 15th, we've got Stoke. It's a pretty basic red and white kit but there's nothing wrong with it it's just quite basic that's why it's down in 15th and not up there they've not tried anything different they have a couple lines in the red it's all right not amazing not bad 14th place we've got barnsley it's pretty much identical to last year's kit if i remember correctly it's just another basic kit nothing wrong with it i like the detail of the pickaxes in there with Barnsley's kit, nothing wrong with the kit, but it's just better kits in my opinion, that's why it's 14th. 13th we've got Preston, there's a bit of a mixed opinion on the sleeves, I don't mind them, I think they look alright, I think they'll look decent in game. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty decent kit in my opinion, nothing wrong with it. 
probably could put out a bit higher to be honest but it's 13th moving on to the top 12 now first team nottingham forest basic clean nice road kit to be honest nothing wrong with it again and the detail on the kit looks pretty nice in my opinion 11th place we've got Huddersfield another really nice kit this one I love Huddersfield kits they've got the sponsor back I don't know if they had it they had a sponsor last year but they got the sponsor back it kind of looks like the writing's mirrored I don't know why but it's all right pretty nice blue and white kit traditional Huddersfield colors I'm a big fan of this kit top 10 now and in 10th place is Reading it's like their anniversary kit you can see a different badge like gold i really like that badge the kit as well is a nice clean blue and white stripe kit pretty nice kit probably quite harsh being at only 10th but there's some really good cha championship kits ninth place is qpr they've got a bit of a bigger striped kit than reddings it's pretty similar just the bigger stripes and i prefer it i think it's a really nice clean kit they've got some detail you can see in the blue uh, stripes there the sleeves are nice the collars clean it's a pretty nice kit i like it eighth place we've got bournemouth they always have nice kits last year's was really good this year's again really good can't really go wrong with a red and black stripe kit i know that from 2011 12 man's away kit that was beautiful this is another nice red and black kit nothing they could do wrong with it they've done pretty well could have probably been a bit higher but seventh's where it's going in 7th place, just missing out on the playoffs in this is Luton. This was released today, so I probably should be ranking it lower because it took a while for them to release it compared to others. But it's a really nice game, in my opinion. Did do a Luton career, so have a soft spot with them. And I'm probably being a bit biased, but I really like this game. I might even get it, you know. Into the top 6 now, and in 6th place, we've got Hull. Very nice game, in my opinion. There's a few mixed opinions on this. I think this black stripe thing that I was talking about earlier with Peter Burkett represents the club pretty well I think it's just really nice in my opinion different and pretty nice I like the Peter Burkett I probably should have put it higher compared to this one fifth place Sheffield United I don't know what it is about this kit but the stripes look really clean and nice much very much improved from last year's Sheffield United kit. I did not like this. This one just looks really nice. The detail in the kit is really nice. Reminds me of Southampton a bit. That's why it's so high up. Fourth place, Coventry. I'm probably being biased because it's a light blue kit like Man City's. But this kit looks really clean and nice. Hummel have done an amazing job with kits this year. The collar's nice. The detail as well looks nice. Very nice kit overall. That's why it's fourth. Moving on to the top three now and in third place we've got Bristol City. Normally I'm not a fan of the badge in the middle of the kit but it's something about this kit which is absolutely fantastic. I don't know what it is. Like it just it just looks so nice this kit. And yeah I genuinely don't know what else there. It's a really nice kit. Well done Bristol City. You're in third place. In second place and just missing out on the win is Birmingham and this kit in my opinion is absolutely fantastic. It's different to last year which I like and it's again a really nice kit just like last year's. I like the detail, different shades of blue there, the sides as well with the white is pretty good and yeah it's unlucky not to win because the first place kit is absolutely stunning. And in first place, in my opinion, the best kit in the championship is Swansea City. This kit is incredible. They've got the new badge just for this year. I think it's some anniversary thing. But the actual kit itself, the collar is perfect. The sleeves are perfect. The actual kit is perfect. They've got a local sponsor as well, which is perfect. I don't know what make this kit is, but it is absolutely fantastic, whatever it is. The best kit in the league by a country mile. Well done, Swansea. Now that is going to end the video today. Well done, Swansea, on winning. If you want to see a away kits video for the championship, hit the subscribe button and like as well because there will be a championship away kit ranking. There will also be Premier League home and away kits, League One home kits and League Two home kits coming up. So look, subscribe to see them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys for another video hopefully very soon.